Well, I can tell you that um, the athlete Nicholas de Popolo has had his uh, accreditation taken away. He's on his way home. Uh, he failed a drugs test uh, following his competition, 73 kilogram uh, judo, um, and he's on his way home. This isn't the IOC which is making this decision. These substances are on a list of banned substances by the World Anti-Doping Agency. It's agreed by all the sports, um, and he took this substance. Now, what he took it for, why he took it, um, you have to remember also, by the way, I wouldn't talk about this particular case, but sometimes people take uh, substances for other reasons than going faster, higher, stronger. It might be to calm them down or whatever. So I don't really want to get into the details of this particular drug. I don't know what it could be used for, but suffice to say it is on the World Anti-Doping Agency's list of banned substances, and therefore if someone is taking it, they will be sent home. Well, I wouldn't, con I wouldn't comment on Team USA. I think we can see, I think there's a clear trend that uh, people know that we, uh, we are after them in terms of doping uh, and drug taking and uh, I think every, uh, every National Olympic Committee has, 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 has dealt with that. Um, we're seeing actually uh, at this stage possibly, I think, hard to t say at this stage, but a, a, a low level of, of, of positives. Um, but we are testing uh, in the same extensive way as we have before. There will be 5,000 tests during these games, so if people are doping, we will catch them.